Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 14 september 2015. Dit is het bulletin van maandag. Vanaf morgen hebben we een door Simon gemaakte impressie in enkele delen over de ballonvossenjacht. Later in de week gaan we verder met het verhaal van PD4 ROB waarbij we eerst een stukje van de laatste aflevering zullen herhalen om er weer in te komen. Dat is wel er enkele YouTube filmpjes over het onderwerp van Rob op pnl.nl komen te staan. Vandaag, ook al omdat de montage voor de impressie van Simon op dit moment nog niet af is, voor één keer in het Engels de dit weekend overgeslagen propag- of het dit weekend overgeslagen propagatiebulletin van de RSGB. Now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilowatt Yankee Alpha, Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 11th of September. This week the HF bands were once again plagued by the effects of the high speed solar wind as a result of ongoing coronal holes on the sun. The KP index hit 6 for more than 15 hours on Tuesday as incoming plasma caused a major geomagnetic storm. Listeners could be forgiven for thinking their receivers had broken as the HF bands were virtually devoid of signals. Wednesday was also very bad. The effects could be seen on the Chilton Ionosond data as the calculated maximum usable frequency on Tuesday fell well below 14 megahertz. Recovery was slow with only 20 meters showing any activity later in the day. Autumn should herald the start of better HF conditions, but propagation is being dominated by coronal hole effects. The NOAA predicts that the solar flux index will be in the range 100 to 115 this week. The K index could suffer yet again from the effects of the high-speed solar wind, resulting in depleted F layers, lower maximum usable frequencies, strong solar absorption and auroral effects. September is usually a good month for north-south paths, such as UK to South Africa and South America. In between geomagnetic events, we should also see the lower bands becoming more usable too. And now the VHF and up-propagation news. The slightly lifted tropo conditions of last week will have subsided by this weekend as low pressure moves in with unsettled weather in most areas and quite windy conditions in the northwest at times. The only glimmer of hope seems to be that the models are indicating a return of high pressure near southeast Britain by the end of the week, so perhaps a slight improvement again for some areas by next weekend. The sporadic E season is all but done, although a few openings can occur on 10 metres, so as in the high summer, Summer, use the location of jet streams to guide you for these possible openings to make use of the dying embers of the 2015 E season. Last week's VHF auroral conditions may have subsided for now, but keep an eye on the space weather for more activity. There are no major meteor showers this week, so keep looking in the early mornings for the best random meteor scatter opportunities. For EME operators, the moon is close to the sun on Sunday the 13th, making for more noise on the VHF bands. This week, the declination goes negative with shortening moon windows, along with high losses as we approach apogee, uh, the point where the moon is furthest away from the Earth on Monday. And that's all from the propagation team for this week. A reminder, if you'd like to see a full transcript of this news bulletin, just have a look on the RSGB website under news. And if you'd like to hear the local news for your area, make sure you tune in to the amateur radio station that provides that service for where you live. And you can also find a full transcript of all the local news bulletins on the RSGB website under news. I'm Bob McCready, G0FGX, and this has been the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Daily Minutes is daily at 1700 UTC on 6.005 and 73.10 10 kilohertz and 5 minutes later on the PI2 NOS repeater system. Next day there are reruns 800 UTC on 73.10 10 kilohertz, 8.30 UTC on PI2 NOS and 12.30 UTC on 95.60 kilohertz. Our weekend shows are in English, all other shows are in Dutch. Mail address is delta x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mike echo. Do you suffer from the heartbreak of brain rot? Feeling bored, sluggish, listless, not had a new idea in days? Using electronic gizmos without a clue why they work? Now there's help. Ham Radio, guaranteed to stimulate your corroding neurons and open a whole new world of excitement. Side effects of ham radio usage include mental stimulation, desire for education, new career paths, understanding of technology, and cases of addiction have been reported. If you experience any of these symptoms, you're welcome. Ham Radio, it's not your granddaddy's radio anymore. Reductie en presentatie van deze uitzending. PA0ETE en PA9TV. Met bijdrage van PD4ROB.